It should swell up a little bit. You know, it was Shaw. It was Shaw all the time. I know, I know. I found some files at his office connecting to the murders. I don't think he is a murderer, but he's just as responsible as anybody else. I want to know what's in those files. I can't tell you. This is not the time. Preacher, I have got to know. All right, you want to know what's in those files? I found three sets of files, okay? The first one said canceled. Now, do I got to tell you who was in there? Tess? Yes, there was Tess. There was Maxine Burton and some others. Oh, my God. The, the second file was said rejected. I guess there were some people who got out just in time before they knew too much. Now, Jack Boyd's name was in there. What about the third file? Third file said place. There were exactly 24 names. Now, they must have been students who made the grade or something. Well, where are the files now? I threw them at that crazy dude we saw coming up the sidewalk. So the evidence is gone? Yes, but Tess's killer is not. He's sitting right outside that door, and he's waiting for us to make our move. You know what the sad thing about it is? There's not a damn thing we can do about it. <laughs> Edge of Night is brought to you by Bold 3, detergent plus fabric softener, a change for the better. A few years ago, I was building my kids a backyard sandbox. Today, I'm heading the committee to build our neighborhood playground. Now that's a change for the better. Back then, I had to buy separate detergents and fabric softeners to clean and soften my laundry. Today, Bold 3 detergent plus fabric softener is all I buy. Now that's better. Oh, I had my doubts one product would clean, soften, and control static cling. Not anymore. As long as Bold 3 cleans like this, let them have fun. But I know, can it really soften? No doubt about it. And I'm not easy to please. It's got just the right amount of freshness, too. And let me tell you, static cling, under control. All that from one product. A change for the better. Bold 3. Bye-bye, good old pie. Duncan Hines cake rises so high. Duncan Hines yellow rises to great heights of moistness. This is the day of great taste. Deluxe. This is the day of great moistness. Mmm, moisture. A super creamy batter for extra moistness. Great heights of moistness. America's rising to a great taste. Moist. Rising high to a great taste. Mm. High rising. Moisture. Great moistness. Duncan Hines Deluxe. Mmm. Deluxe. Down and give us a try. Duncan Hines cake rises so high. Rises to great heights of moistness. Duncan Hines Deluxe. Deluxe it. Make your cake taste even better with Duncan Hines creamy frosting. Give it out. I want you come in here, psycho. I got your friend's gun. I want you come in and get it. You think we scared him away? I don't think so. Gun or no gun, he's gonna be back. What are we gonna do? Well, we just have to stay here till he makes his move, all right? Preacher, I never thought it would turn out this way. It's gonna be, it's gonna be all right. I know it's gonna be all right. Now, come here. We got one thing on our side, and he knows it. What's that? Well, it can't stay dark forever, right? I mean, if we just sit tight here till morning, when the light comes up, that man's got to split. You think so? I know so, baby. Trust me, I know it's tight. He's like a snake. He can't crawl without the shade. So you really think we're gonna be safe here? Yeah, we're gonna be all right. Look, we got each other, right? Huh? Yeah, why don't you help me with this bed? Come on. Now, you sit, sit down here and relax. Now, why not you tell me what happened when I left for Shaw's office today, okay? Okay. The first thing I did was try the phone. When it didn't work, I figured I should get out as quick as I could. That's when you ran into Shaw? He was outside the door with that gun. I mean, he looked sick, as if he didn't know what he was doing. You know, for a second, I mean, none of it registered in my mind. So how'd you get away from him? I just slammed the door and ran upstairs. By the time he'd gotten up here, I had already hit under the bed. So what did Shaw do next? Well, he came back downstairs. That's one thing for sure. Shaw's not a professional killer. Because if he was, the first place he would have looked would have been right under the bed. All right, so what happened next? Since he didn't find me downstairs, I guess he came back up here. Well, that's when I burned him with a curling iron. 
I don't know, from there, I just grabbed the gun and he ran back out. I don't know. Hey, come on. I'm glad I got here when I did. Yeah. I'd hate to think of what I would have done if you hadn't. When I had that gun in my hand, and I thought of what shot hey, the test. Come on, come on, just relax. You're doing great, baby. You're doing all right. You really are. Yeah, but what are we going to do? I guess, uh, you brought all these over, huh? Well, uh, at least now the cops won't be able to trace me to all this. Where are they? Upstairs in her room with your gun, Shaw. Guess I'm not very good at all this, am I? Tell me something I don't know. No, there's just nothing more we can do. We're just gonna have to wait. Well, what about your informants? I mean, why can't we start it on them, you know? Calvin, there's nobody left to talk to. Yeah, I guess most of the crooks in town are so scared of their own shadow if anybody's gonna inform. They are. That's right. It's just this waiting. It's waiting, Chris. I, I don't know. It's never gotten to me before like it is now. Well, why don't you just try and hang out a little bit longer, Cal, because there's nothing more we can do. Whoa, I gotta call Derek. Derek, hi, this is Chris. We're over at uh, Kelvin's apartment, right? Uh, okay, if you can just calm down a minute, I can explain. Look, tell him something is gonna happen. We just have to keep the heat on. It's uh, just about to boil. All we gotta do is find out where, where Wallace is or where Kale's uh, operating from, anything. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's all right, Derek, really. What do you mean, am I all right? My eyes. Uh, no, no, they haven't been bothering me in a couple of weeks. Look, I promise you that there's absolutely nothing wrong with them, all right? Okay, yeah, uh, I'll be in touch. Bye. What's this? You still got something wrong with your eyes? <sighs> yeah, I guess I should have told you all about it. Yeah, I guess you should have. By the way, you haven't heard from Preacher and Jody recently, have you? No, 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 there's nothing wrong. At least I don't think so. Well, it's just the preacher was supposed to be here a couple of hours ago, and he hasn't shown up yet. <laughs> right, he is always on time. As a matter of fact, I can usually set my watch by him. Myrna, would you do me a favor, though? If you hear from him, would you give me a call? Okay, and, and I'll give you a call tomorrow. Okay, thanks. Bye. Maybe they've left. But yeah, why would they do something like that? Why not? I mean, maybe they talked it over and they decided to, to make a run for it. Hey, Sean may do that, but that's not that other dude's style, Jody. What do you mean? Let me tell you something. I've been on the level with you from the beginning, right? But I'm on the level with you some more, okay? Sean's not the killer. He was at the dance. That other dude, he's sick. You understand? He'd just as soon kill you as wake up in the morning. Those were contract killings. Uh, this is totally Contracts different. Contracts have nothing to do with it, Jody. The man, if I got him pegged right now, he will kill anybody or anything just for the fun of it. Preacher, what are you saying? What am I saying? I'm saying the man has got a job to do. And he's not going to leave here till he gets it done. Now, when he comes back here, he's going to try and make a deal. Believe me. Yeah, well, at this point, I'd almost be willing no, to no, listen. No, you can't crack to that, you understand? Because there's one thing you can be sure of, and you listen to me. He's going to try and stop us from leaving the sorority house alive. Nice looking salad you got there. Yep. Yeah. Know we can get a great new dressing for it? Where? Dressing with honest to goodness blue cheese. Real blue cheese? Uh-huh. Together for the first time with bits of real smoked bacon. Oh, I love bacon. A dressing thick with America's favorite cream cheese. Wait, wait, wait. Only one place yeah, for right. a dressing this good. You got to go to Philadelphia. New Philadelphia brand blue cheese and bacon dressing. I think he, uh, took me literally. <laughs> uh -oh. Face it, you've got friends all over the place. And a big phone bill is the price of friendship? No, <laughs> I doubt it. 
Now, if you switch to Sprint, you're really going to save your little heart out. Because now, Sprint's got something called volume discounts. You go over $25 a month and the savings go up. And that's only the beginning. See, with Sprint, you can't have too many friends. Call Sprint. Find out about it. So first I got the dizziness, and I got uh, blurred vision for a minute, and then it would just suddenly go away, well, just like what that. what did they say about all this when you were at the hospital? Uh, that it was a side effect of the concussion, and it would go away by itself. That's what was wrong that day you visited me at the pawn shop, wasn't it? Yeah. You took a hell of a chance, Chris. Well, why not? I mean, you've taken enough for me. Yeah, look, I appreciate that, believe me. But if you've got any doubts about going on with this no, thing... No, then... I know exactly what I'm doing. Besides, it hasn't happened since I last saw Miles. And if it had, I would have voluntarily taken myself off the force. Yeah, well, I still wish you had told me about it from the beginning. Would you have heard me? <sighs> yeah, well, I, I guess I uh, have been uh, rather wrapped up in myself lately, haven't I? <laughs> well, knotted might be a more appropriate word. Thank you. For what? Or, uh, standing by me through all this. I mean, you could have turned and walked away a long time ago, and I couldn't have blamed you. Well, what a partner's form way. Mm, hi, Shelley. Come on in. Are you sure it's all right? I, I already bothered you once today. Oh, I'll no, understand. please come in and stay. I've just been trying to get a hold of the preacher up at Wellington. Seems that sororities have not changed that much since I went to school. The girls still can't keep their hands off the telephone. <laughs> so, how you doing? Well, since this afternoon, not too great. Hmm? You hear about the fireworks? Oh, you mean Geraldine's request that you play more middle-of-the-road music? Yes, I did. You know, I thought I had this great idea. New wave music in a late-night format. Now I just don't know. Shelley, correct me if I'm wrong, but the issue here isn't probably your choice of music, is it? What does that mean? Well, apparently you told Geraldine that you felt that she was running your life. Was that the phrase you used? Or painting you into corners? Mm -hmm, and that's exactly what it feels like. Mm -hmm. Been that way my whole life. I say green, everybody says red. I say day, and all of a sudden the world decides that it's night. I think those are called differences of opinion. And they're not meant to be judgmental unless you choose to see them that way. Well, why is it that what I want never seems to count? You know, first of all, Geraldine Saxon says, okay, you've got to sign this run-of-the-play contract. All right. Then I've got to move in with her. Mm -hmm. Then, when it's over with, I've got to come see you professionally before she'll even consider giving me a job. Well, how does that make you feel? <sighs> exactly like I did in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. like, like some old picture that you'd buy and hang on any old wall you feel like. It's exactly how she makes me feel, whatever Mrs. Saxon wants. Well, why don't you and I forget about what Geraldine wants? I want to know what you want, Shelley. Remember, Derek, it's your responsibility to make sure he doesn't get out of hand. If anything comes up, I'll be right here. Thanks, Derek. Goodbye. I take it Calvin and Chris have been found. They called from Calvin's apartment. Ah, and how's he holding up? Apparently a lot better than the criminal element is. He has half of them uh, scared out of the wits and the other half running for the nearest bus depot. The question now is, if someone's shaken up enough to come forward. At this point, there's no way of knowing what will happen next. So, is there anything else that you can do? I got uh, the task force on double shifts around the clock. I've also got every squad car on priority A1 to track down Judd Wallace. After that, it pretty much all comes down to Calvin. Mike, I hope he stays in the same direction that you're heading. If he gets results, I'm afraid I can't be too concerned about which direction he's heading. I've never heard you say that before. I've never had a fight of Vincent Kale before. Oh, I realize that Calvin is suffering from this Wyatt Earp syndrome. But despite that, after what Derek said on the phone, I'm convinced that he's the best chance we have.
can't hear a damn thing up there. Yeah, well, I, I didn't hear anything either. But, but you know, it's not going to do any good to talk to them. If, if Preacher's seen those files, he, look, he's smart enough to figure out that there's no way we're going to let him out of here alive. I'll tell you another thing. I, there's no good in us hanging around here until morning, waiting for them to make their move. I, so? Got any ideas? I mean, you're supposed to be the expert about this. What are we going to do? You're going to do some climbing. Know what's missing in Pringles light potato chips? A lot of the fats you get in ordinary potato chips. Know what else? You'll never miss it. Know what else is missing in Pringles light? A lot of the salt you get in many ordinary chips. You'll never miss it. You know what's not missing in Pringles light? Mmm, you guessed it. Pringles Light in the silver can. Less fat, less salt, and so much flavor you'll never miss what's missing. Better add two cans of Crisco to that shopping list, girls. Two? <laughs> yeah, regular Crisco and butter flavor. But, Mom, why do we need both? Say you're making this buttery cream frosting. Recipe says margarine, but I use butter flavor Crisco instead. Because butter flavor Crisco gives anything you bake more buttery taste than margarine. Mmm. It's made just for cooking. Margarine isn't. Any recipe says margarine, use butter flavor Crisco instead for more buttery taste. Hey, what's a tough cleaning job in your kitchen? Someplace you'd use Top Job. These cabinets, they get covered by greasy dirt. Right, but greasy dirt's everywhere, like walls. Wow. And no wax floors and... Countertops. Appliances. Sure. It's nearly all over. In fact, on the toughest baked on greasy dirt, like on this range hood, Top Job by the Bucket cleans better than the leading pines in ammonia. Say, if Top Job cleans so much so well, yeah. shouldn't it be called Top Jobs? And Monticello. And I admit, it was my idea for Mrs. Saxon to even give me the job at WEONFM, even if it was the midnight to dawn shift. Well, it doesn't sound to me like you've been painted into a corner then, does it? I mean, it sounds to me like you're doing exactly what you want to do. But I wanted to play new music. Not that same old elevator music you always hear in a dentist's office and stuff, you know? Did you ever hear the shrunken heads? I'm afraid I missed that one. Yeah, we'll see, exactly. That's the kind of music that I would play if... if a certain person would let me do it. Now, Shelley, there'll be plenty of time to talk to Geraldine. You must know what an understanding woman she is. Down deep, you know that. But she has to run a radio station. And if you intend to work for her, well, you're going to have to learn to accept that fact. I mean, she's your boss. <laughs> and you're going to have to abide by her decisions, like them or not. Yeah, I suppose so. Mm-hmm. And if she decides that the shrunken heads don't quite fit, then I better settle for the Beatles. Mm. Well, that's okay. The Beatles are cool, too. Just have to find a way of working this out. I, <laughs> I really, really want this show. Yeah. Now, you feeling a little better about yourself? I know you want to hear this. Well, yes. Okay, you win. I am feeling better. There, did I make your day? Mmm. Only if it made yours. Well, oh, well, see, what I was trying to say was that it really does help when I talk to you. Ah, oh, that I'm glad about. Would you mind if I took a look around the radio station one more time? I'm just dying to get a feel for the place. Oh, go and enjoy yourself. All oh, right, thanks a lot. You're yeah. great. <laughs> I've ever seen you so tired. Oh? What about the time when Louis Van Dyne was sending those signals through the TV? If you recall, I was asleep on my feet. No, 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 no. That isn't the same thing. We'd never even had any idea of Van Dyne back then. This time, we know very well who's our adversary. Oh, honey, the case is going to crack wide open. You're doing everything you can. There's never been another case like this. 
If, if Kale succeeds in organizing the underworld, it's going to take years to rid of the city of his influence, if we ever can. You know, I've, I've fought organized crime before, but I've never felt so frustrated. Oh, honey. I don't want to hear you say anything like that. You've never let Monticello down. Never, no matter what the odds. <laughs> Nancy, I love this town. I know you do. It's given me a good life, a challenging career. Mm -hmm. and best of all, it's given me you. I love you. like only yesterday that we were <laughs> my goodness dare I use the expression going steady <laughs> but there have been a lot of changes in this town since then haven't there that's why it's important that the good things remain the same mm -hmm. remember that odd-looking cherry tree on the edge of Monticello Park how many hours did we sit and talk under that tree when we were dating? Mm -hmm. I still drive that way occasionally when I go to town. It never fails to remind me of the old days. You still remember that tree? Mm -hmm. Darling, someone smart enough to have married you ought to be able to remember something like that. Do you really mean that? Of course I do. Why shouldn't I? Well, I'm just a little surprised that you're still willing to talk to me after all the hard times I've given you lately. Nancy, the support and strength you've given me more than make up for any professional jealousies we might have. After all, you were only doing your job. And very well, too. The stories you've done on the case were beautifully written. Thank you for loving me. So is uh, everything okay up there? You got everything you need? Yeah, you know I wish I could be with you too, baby. Dee Dee, you know how much I love you, don't you? I know I haven't quite been myself lately, but um, I know you're right, yes. No, you're hearing me correctly. I'm just getting around to realizing it myself, I guess. But don't worry, everything is going to be all right again. I promise. No, you, uh, you really can't come home till I break this case. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I promise it won't be much longer, okay? Yeah, I, I saw Beth. I know she's been a big help. That's fine. Well, look, um, I love you. And you stay put. I don't want you out of that hotel, not for a minute. I'll call you first thing in the morning. Bye. Chris, I'm finished. Thanks. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Everything okay up there? Uh, well, she's uh, bored to tears, but she's safe and sound. That's the main thing. Yeah? Did you tell her that you'd resign from the force? No. No, that would only worry her more. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I mean, Didi, Didi and I first started going through our little changes, you know, having our troubles, I began to seriously think about leaving. But now, with her so far away, I know it all comes so clear. I, I love that woman more than anything else in this world. Relax, I'll check. Just relax. Now, maybe there's a way we can climb down from here. What do you think? Yeah. Oh. What's the matter, preacher? Gary Shaw's working his way over here, throwing the overhang. What? 